dear students i'll complete the solution of the previous problem uh, that is the calculation of angle between two curves uh, they are polar curves one is uh, cardioid with uh, respect to the positive direction of x axis this is the curve and another one is also cardioid that is with uh, negative direction of x axis these two uh, curves are already familiar to you because uh, these two curves uh, in the derivative of arc length and radius of curvature also we discussed especially uh, some of the standard curves in the list of standard curves this is uh, one pair of curves uh, where you can think of it is a standard uh, problem so that this is the, the for these two equations separately we will calculate the values of phi 1 and phi 2 the angle made by this phi 1 made by the tangent with the uh, initial line and the tangent with the initial line for the second curve. So, first of all we have to calculate what is the value of uh, tan phi for this curve, what is the value of tan phi. Already in the previous problem we discussed that is phi is equal to pi by 2 plus theta by 2. But anyway once again I will write the details uh, of both the problems. Therefore, dr by d theta is equal to minus of a into sin theta. Then uh, with this equation it is tan phi is equal to r times d theta by dr. This is nothing but r and divided by it is d, uh, dr by d theta. You can also write like this. Then it comes to be r is equal to uh, r divided by dr by d theta means minus a it is sin theta. This is nothing but a into 1 plus cos theta, a into 1 plus cos theta and divided by minus of a it is sin theta. Then a cancels uh, 1 plus cos theta you can write it as uh, uh, 2 cos square theta by 2, 2 cos square it is theta by 2. Uh, because of plus sign cos square theta by 2 will come and then minus of 2 times this is sin theta by 2 into cos of theta by 2. Then this is for it is tan phi. Then 2 gets cancelled and one cos function gets cancelled. You are getting minus of it is cot theta by 2. This is already discussed in the previous problem. Now this is to be written in the form of tan function so that angles can be compared. Tan of 90 plus theta by 2. As a result you will be getting minus sign. This is for it is tan phi. This implies phi is equal to phi is equal to it is pi by 2 plus it is theta by 2. So this is first value means angle made by the tangent with respect to this curve. This is called phi 1. Let me say first angle and similarly for the second curve also I will calculate dr by d theta that is a times minus cos theta becomes sin theta with plus sin then tan phi is equal to using the same equation that is r divided by it is dr by d theta then it is equal to r value a into 1 minus cos theta as you substituted a into 1 plus cos theta with the given problem now r equal to a into 1 minus cos theta with the given problem then dr by d theta means a sin theta as you know already this becomes 1 minus cos theta I can substitute after cancelling a this is 2 times sin square theta by 2 because cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1 and one more in the form of sin function 1 minus 2 sin square a. So that becomes uh, 1 minus 2 sin square a means sin square a by 2 because here theta is there then half of the angles we have to take. Then 2 times of sin theta by 2 into it is cos theta by 2 then 2 gets cancelled one sine function also we will cancel as a result you are, you are getting sine by cos that is tan of it is theta by 2 therefore 
this is nothing but tan phi for the second curve and this comparison gives us that is phi is equal to theta by 2. So, this is the curve we are going to represent and uh, how we are going to represent uh, the intersection between these two curves means by taking phi is equal to modulus of phi 1. Uh, so, this is nothing but phi 2. I can call this as phi 2. Then, then the angle of intersection, angle of intersection between two curves, angle of intersection between two curves is phi is equal to modulus, it is phi 1 minus it is phi 2, modulus phi 1 minus phi 2 accordingly phi 1 is nothing but phi by 2 plus theta by 2, another one is what minus of that is only theta by 2 with minus sign here, then this term cancels, you are getting that is pi by 2. What is this pi by 2? It is called 90 degree. Therefore, these two curves will intersect the tangent at these two, at this point I draw the tangent, this angle is nothing but 90 degree. Therefore, whenever there is an intersection happens like this, then at this point of intersection we draw the tangent in this direction and draw the tangent in this direction. The angle we do not put the compass instrument to measure the angle, but through the equation we will declare and we will confirm that what is the angle of intersection made by these two curves that is exactly 90 degree. So, this is one standard problem. Next another uh, equally important very good example I am going to discuss uh, that problem is like this same question again find the angle of intersection between r to the power n is equal to a to the power n cos n theta and r to the power n is equal to a to the power n sin n theta. This is another uh, standard example where we need to calculate uh, the angle whether it is going to be 90 degree or some other angle that we will verify. Okay. So, in the solution I do not make any changes same type of calculation procedure you follow just side by side I am going to write. There are two curves I have one is in terms of cos another is in terms of sin. Whereas, in this case both are in terms of cos function. Now, I will take the first equation r to the power n is equal to a to the power n cos of n theta. Here your differentiation step should become so perfect, so, so correct. Uh, you have two options to take uh, differentiation. One is directly as it is also you can take the differentiation that is one option. Another option you take log on both sides and then uh, take the differentiation that also works. So, anyone both are equally good, anyone, anyone you can follow. Now, I will follow direct method first that is uh, direct differentiation without applying log on both sides. But normally what we do when some power comes immediately we try to remove that power as uh, uh, con uh, which is convenient through logarithm application. But Without logarithm also you can solve direct uh, straightforward approach. Then I will take straightforward approach uh, for the differentiation. First I will do that dr by d theta what is the answer. Then I will take tan phi. Uh, then I will calculate what is phi 1. Then I will calculate for the second curve. I will name it as phi 2. Afterwards I will take the difference between these two. Then I will measure what is the angle of intersection between these two curves. Now the first one. Uh, I am going to write uh, differentiating with respect to theta. Differentiating 
this equation with respect to theta. That means n into r to the power n minus 1, it is dr by d theta is equal to a to the power n is constant and cos n theta differentiation is n into sin that is n theta along with minus sin because cos differentiation is minus. Let me repeat that first term differentiation is n into r to the power n minus 1 because r is a function of theta therefore dr by d theta I, I include and a to the power n as it is then cos n theta becomes sin n theta leaving the coefficient that is constant n outside. Therefore, now from these two you can cancel this n on both sides. Okay? Then I shall take uh, this r to the power n minus 1 dr by d theta which I have to compare with this one. Then what is that dr by d theta I have to take dr by d theta from this I will separate minus a to the power n it is sin n theta divided by r to the power n minus 1. Then tan phi equal to r times it is d theta divided by dr. What is this? r divided by it is dr by it is d theta. Then it is equal to r value that is r into actually r into that means here as it is you have to write the value of dr by d theta. r will remain in the numerator as it is and in the denominator dr by d theta I will substitute this value minus a to the power n sin n theta into that is uh, uh, into 1 divided by that means divided by r to the power n minus 1. Therefore, in the denominator this term is again in the denominator this will go to numerator r into r to the power n minus 1 minus a to the power n this is equal to sin n theta and left side it is tan of phi is there. This is equal to r into r to the power n minus 1 base is same powers can be added. What is that? r to the power n only remains a to the power n into sin of n theta. Now, I will take r to the power n with this equation that is uh, substituting the given problem cos n theta and divided by a to the power n here sin n theta here minus sin and also minus sign. Okay. A to the power n I will cancel. What is finally I am getting? Cot of n theta. What is for? This is tan phi. So, one angle I am getting like this that is the uh, in place of phi uh, first value that is to be compared that means cot I have to express in terms of tan so that the angles can be compared from LHS to RHS. What is the uh, next step I have to write here? Right side I have to make it as tan function. So, by taking once again ASTC rule I will write that is tan phi is equal to this is minus minus cot theta cot n theta therefore tan of pi by 2 tan of pi by 2 plus n theta. In the previous problem it was uh, theta by 2 was there. So, only theta by 2 we had written, but here in place of theta by 2 n theta is there. So, n theta I am writing. Now, this implies phi is equal to pi by 2 plus of n theta. You call it as phi 1. This is nothing but if single equation is asked that means single equation is given then this represents the angle between radius vector and the tangent is nothing but pi by 2 plus n theta. Similarly, another equation similarly r to the power n is equal to another equation is 
sin theta uh, sorry sin n theta then you take the differentiation n into r to the power n minus 1 it is dr by d theta a to the power n n into cos n theta then after cancelling this n implies dr divided by d theta a to the power n cos n theta divided by r to the power n minus 1 same type of simplification same type of rearrangement now uh, what I have to take the equation main equation is tan phi main equation is tan phi that I have to write like uh, this is uh, tan phi is equal to r times uh, dr by d theta we can write like this then this r you write as it is this r to the power n minus 1 comes to numerator already we are done then a to the power n into cos n theta this is r to the power n divided by a to the power n it is cos of n theta this is equal to r to the power n means it is a to the power n uh, sin n theta it is a given problem you have to substitute and a to the power n it is cos of n theta and left side it is tan phi then this is nothing but cancelling this a to the power n it is nothing but tan of n theta <coughs> you need not to make any conversion from LHS to RHS because <coughs> left side is also tan function and right side is also tan function where you are comparing that uh, with angles phi is equal to n theta so this you can call it as phi 2 angle of intersection uh, made by the tangent with the radius vector <coughs> that is phi 2 therefore angle of intersection angle of intersection uh, made by <coughs> made by two given curves two given curves uh, is what value angle of intersection there is nothing but phi is equal to modulus phi 1 minus phi 2 this is the absolute value because it should be a positive angle positive angle means vectorial angle so this is equal to so the first value is nothing but pi by 2 plus n theta and here only n theta that is minus n theta because of this minus sign so n theta gets cancelled modulus of pi by 2 this is equal to pi by 2 this is equal to 90 degree so coincidentally these two curves also intersect at 90 degree that means r to the power n is equal to a to the power n actually this is called uh, family of curves of uh, uh, pendant ribbon we call it as laminis skate of Bernoulli laminis skate of Bernoulli that first equation is along the x-axis this is laminis skate of Bernoulli along the y-axis pendant ribbons then these two curves will intersect orthogonally that means like this curves are there like this these two curves are there so this is a family of curves but from this point if you draw the tangent and if you draw the tangent this angle is equal to 90 degree this is what the value we have achieved this is x axis and this is y axis if n is equal to 2 n equal to 2 means these are the equation this is r square a square cos 2 theta and uh, this one is r square is equal to a square it is sin 2 theta where you have studied in uh, uh, curve tracing uh, topic of the engineering syllabus there uh, the uh, curves are to be plotted according to the equations by giving various values of n n equal to 1 n equal to 2 n equal to 3 and so on n equal to 1 is uh, circle and n equal to 2 is uh, figure infinity we call it otherwise laminis skate of Bernoulli 
So, uh, otherwise it is called pendant ribbon along the x axis and along the y axis. But those two loops, this is one loop and this is second loop, third loop, fourth loop. These two loops will intersect at this point, at this point these two, at this point these two like that. So, when they intersect uh, 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 at that particular location, from this point of intersection if you draw the tangents, then if the angle is 90 degree, then we will say that they are orthogonal to each other. That means they are perpendicular to each other. So, this is uh, another uh, standard problem and uh, like this you can take so many problems uh, in the uh, case of uh, polar curves for the angle of intersection between two curves. Now, I will move on to another topic of this uh, pedal equation calculation, same equations you can use again, pedal equation, how the pedal equation otherwise it is called as PR equation. So, how this PR equation is going to be studied? Let us uh, check this PR equation from a simple equation and then we will go to another uh, equation. Okay. So, <coughs> PR equation you must uh, know that P is for perpendicular length and R is for length of the radius vector and <coughs> the pedal equation is nothing but it should be free from theta. It should be free from theta then uh, the same equation you have to use that is 1 by p square, 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r to the power of 4 into dr by d theta whole square. Uh, that is one uh, equation and another equation is p is equal to r sin phi. So, this is for angle, next is p is equal to r sin phi, next is 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r to the power of 4, it is dr by d theta and whole square. So, these four equations you uh, take care in the case of uh, polar curves chapter and for understanding and for requirement uh, for both it is uh, equally important as engineering syllabus uh, requires uh, the uh, use of this <coughs> in solving certain problems of uh, uh, getting uh, locus of the uh, 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 tangent uh, which is drawn to the uh, polar curve that is uh, from this curve and intersection uh, between two curves this is the equation and this is directly you can calculate uh, the uh, we can call it as shortcut method of finding the value of phi and then you can go for pedal equation. But that is for uh, common for all the problems where pedal equation is to be calculated this is P or equation, pedal equation. Okay. The first problem let me explain, find the pedal equation of R is equal to A into theta with suitable notation. with suitable notation <coughs> solution. Okay. Here the first thing is uh, if phi is available in the uh, differentiation process then you collect the value of phi and then substitute and then collect uh, uh, the uh, value of P, uh, P and R form by eliminating theta. If it is not possible then go for the last uh, uh, ultimate equation is that standard equation. Okay. Now, I will go directly to the standard equation uh, for finding the pedal equation otherwise PR equation, pedal equation otherwise PR equation. So, P is for perpendicular length and uh, uh, perpendicular and R is for radius vector. Okay. R is equal to A into theta that implies dr by d theta is equal to what value that is dr by d theta is equal to r uh, sorry that is a into theta with respect to theta is 1 thereby you will substitute there uh, the equation should be free from theta that is all. Then uh, by pedal equation by pedal equation we have 
by Padel equation we have 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r to the power of 4 it is dr by d theta whole square. This is nothing but 1 by r square as it is plus of theta should not be there that is 1 divided by r to the power of 4 into a square. This itself is the solution because PR equation means in the absence of theta, theta should not be there that is called pedal form. It is the locus of the uh, 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 moving tang uh, locus of the tangent which is drawn as uh, uh, a reference to the polar curve. Okay. Next problem, find the pedal equation pedal equation of r is equal to a into e to the power theta cot alpha. What is this curve represents? That is called equiangular spiral. Like this, we will plot this represents r is equal to a into e to the power theta cot alpha this is x axis and this is y axis and this is the origin that is called equiangular spiral. Uh, the name of the equation is called uh, equiangular spiral but the representation is r equal to a into e to the power theta cot alpha. In this case uh, r is a function of theta but alpha is constant and a is constant. Let us check uh, how this uh, equation gives the pedal equation we will verify solution r is equal to a into e to the power theta cot alpha. <coughs> then uh, what is the <coughs> what is the value of uh, dr by d theta you have to calculate that is dr by d theta is equal to uh, a into cot alpha and e to the power theta cot alpha dr by d theta is equal to a into cot alpha because uh, the differentiation r is equal to a is constant theta alpha is constant and uh, uh, sorry cot alpha is constant and theta is variable with respect to variable means this acts, acts as a constant which will come out that is cot alpha a into cot alpha into e to the power something that is enough for us then we will substitute in pedal equation then 1 by p square you can write here by pedal equation <coughs> by pedal equation we have by pedal equation we have 1 by p square 1 by r square plus 1 by r to the power of 4 then we will write dr by d theta whole square this value that is a cot alpha and e to the power theta cot alpha it is whole square. This is not the pedal equation still we have to simplify further and how this is to be simplified means we have to substitute back in the form of a given problem itself. So given problem is this one now theta is to be eliminated. Okay. You can write that uh, this equation, pedal equation free from theta, free from theta means it is PR equation. So now theta is there, we do not call this one as pedal equation, now we have to uh, eliminate this theta. It is easy to eliminate because a into e to the power theta cot alpha easily you can replace this uh, value as r. I will do that 1 by r square plus uh, cot alpha means cot square alpha because applying square okay then r to the power of 4 right then a into e to the power theta cot alpha it is whole square. Now I can easily write 1 by r square plus cot square 
alpha by r to the power of 4 and what else I have to write? Uh, this one uh, I can write it as r therefore r square because r whole square I have to write here a into e to the power theta cot alpha instead r square I am writing. Then after cancelling that r square what the final step I am getting? 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square okay 1 by r square and 1 r square I can cancel here 1 r square plus of 1 by r square into cot square alpha and finally I can write like this 1 by r square into 1 plus cot square alpha okay uh, still if you want uh, further simplification you can write like this 1 plus cot square you can write it as 1 plus cot square is what uh, it is cosecant square cosecant square alpha so this is the final value 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square it is cosecant square alpha because 1 plus tan square is secant square 1 plus cot square is cosecant square alpha according to the trigonometric formula. So this term is free from theta. So theta is not there. That means we eliminate it by targeting this value because theta we must eliminate and then we must get the equation free from theta. This is called pedal equation perpendicular length and length of the radius vector. So this is one among the standard problems. But the plot of this equiangular spiral, uh, uh, every time, every time the radius of this particular uh, uh, rotation will goes on increasing. That is called r equal to a into e to the power theta cot alpha, which you will be discussing in the curve tracing chapter. In that curve tracing chapter, Cartesian curves, parametric curves, polar curves, and then uh, uh, cylindrical uh, 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 polar coordinates curves like that. One among the polar curves is this one that is r equal to a into e to the power theta cot alpha. Now I will move on to another problem that is uh, to find the pedal equation of the problems which we solved. I will take the same example again uh, that is cardioid. One uh, equation I will discuss there r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. What is the pedal equation from this equation? that is given equation. So here also we take dr by d theta is equal to minus a into it is sin theta. So differentiation again. Then only thing that is dr by d theta if shortcut method works this p is equal to r sin phi. But here it works we will verify how this equation works to find out the value of that is p is equal to r sin phi. Then I can make use that is tan phi is equal to r times I can write dr by it is d theta. Instead of d theta by dr I can bring it to the denominator so that I can write this value as dr by d theta. So this value r divided by minus a it is sin of theta. Then r is equal to what value? It is a given equation 1 plus cos theta divided by minus a it is sin theta. Then you can write further already you have discussed what is the angle same thing I will repeat then a minus 1 plus cos theta you can write it as 2 times cos square it is theta by 2 and divided by 2 times it is sin of theta by 2 into cos of it is theta by 2. So 2 gets cancelled and 1 cos term you can cancel and then you will be getting minus of this should be cot theta by 2 but left side we have it is tan phi. Then uh, I, if I want to collect the value of this phi and I can call it as phi 1 then this tan should be in the form of tan only therefore tan of 90 degree plus theta by 2 this is called tan phi then I can collect the value phi is equal to pi by 2 plus of it is theta by 2. So 
here instead of using this equation and simplifying I will use this equation as a shortcut method then I can write directly the pedal equation that I will show that is to be taken as p is equal to r sin phi that p is equal to r sin phi will take phi value as what that value phi is equal to pi by 2 plus it is theta by 2 then p equal to r into sin phi I will use that r into sin of that is 90 degree means pi by 2 plus it is theta by 2. So, according to ASTC rule what is the value of sin 90 plus theta it is cos theta then cos of it is theta by 2 therefore p is equal to r cos theta by 2 this is still not a pedal equation but we have to eliminate theta. How to eliminate theta? Because here cos square theta by 2 already we have taken from 1 plus cos theta. We will convert that in the form of uh, cos theta by 2. So, r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta. This is nothing but a into 2 times cos square. It is theta by 2. Okay. Then cos square theta by 2 means this you can write it as p square is equal to r square and cos square it is theta by 2. Here cos square theta by 2 here also cos square theta by 2. So that you can substitute uh, uh, r divided by 2a r divided by 2 into a that I will bring it to the left side and cos square it is theta by 2. Then I will substitute this value here then p square is equal to r square cos square theta by 2 I can write it as r divided by it is 2a therefore 2a p square is equal to r cube is called pr equation is called pr equation otherwise it is called pedal equation because now it is free from theta but earlier this was containing theta we had to eliminate in order to write pr equation so like this you can continue so many examples uh, by finding the value of phi uh, in order to take uh, pedal equation by any one of these two methods but this method will give you when phi is available phi is possible when phi is not possible then directly that method you have to take but for all the problems uh, invariably for all the problems you can go for that uh, straightforward approach that is the main equation. So I would like to stop this topic up to this stage. Now I, I shall uh, uh, move on to the next topic that is uh, series McLaren series and uh, uh, Taylor series that is McLaren series and Taylor series then I can discuss uh, the application of differential calculus in the form of uh, series expansions that is McLaren's and Taylor's series. Okay. I shall introduce those equations today because the, they are also without uh, uh, derivations so that directly I will go to the equations and then uh, in each case uh, one or two problems I will solve then uh, I hope uh, that is sufficient so that you can extend the same idea for other uh, various problems uh, with the uh, different equations. Then what is Taylor series and Maclaurin series? What is the importance of uh, studying these things in engineering and what is the use of this branch of mathematics for engineering? Okay, You remember one thing where we want to take up some uh, graphical representation in any case graphical representation either any graph then the smoothness of the graph will be uh, represented whenever some terms are explained in the form of series. Okay. Even another example if you take what is this graph actually what is this graph and another graph I will take another graph also I will take. So this is sine wave this is sine wave this is cos wave. So in order to have the smoothness of this curve in order to have the smoothness of this curve like this even if you want you can take parabola also when you explain 
in, in different uh, geometrical meaning, parabola, ellipse, hyperbola, every curve. The smoothness will be explained uh, when any such uh, corresponding term is explained in the form of some series. That series will, uh, series expansion will give us for certain uh, comfortable calculations uh, for some standard uh, selected uh, terms. One is exponential series, next is logarithmic series, next is sine trigonometric series, next is cos trigonometric series, next is log of 1 plus sin x, combination of this log and trigonometric function. So that there are two standard uh, expressions are there uh, in your syllabus as indicated by VTU. Then one is Taylor series for single variable and Maclaurin series is for single variable. Now I shall write those two expressions that is Taylor series for single variable. Taylor series for single variable. One second Maclaurin series for the same single variable. I will write the final form of that uh, uh, expression, how these series can be uh, adopted in various equations. So, first one Taylor series, right, y is equal to f of x that is equal to uh, f of x naught that, that means y naught plus of y, y naught plus of uh, then uh, sorry Maclaurin series let me write first afterwards Taylor series I will extend Maclaurin series that is y is equal to f of x that is equal to f of x naught plus of x into f dash of x naught by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial and f double dash of x naught plus x cube by 3 factorial and f triple dash x naught and plus so on. This is called Maclaurin series where the series is defined at various uh, uh, points near the neighborhood of the origin. Near the neighborhood of the origin means uh, this is x minus 0 and uh, like uh, x minus 0 whole square, x minus 0 whole cube. Whereas, Taylor series you have to explain that implies y is equal to y is equal to f of a that means first at that point plus x minus a into uh, here f dash of a by 1 factorial here a is 0 in the case of Maclaurin series x minus a it is whole square f double dash of a by 2 factorial plus x minus a it is whole cube f triple dash of a by 3 factorial and plus so on. So, these two are the expressions which we come across uh, uh, for explaining exponential series, uh, trigonometric uh, sin and cos series, logarithmic series and the combination of these two in any manner you can explain. But Taylor series is away from the origin and Maclaurin series is near the neighborhood of the origin. Away from the origin means x, e, x minus a is equal to 0 that means x equal to a units away from the origin. So, according to this standard problems are there. So, one by one let us discuss uh, which name is mentioned according to that you have to calculate uh, these number of derivatives and then that is f of x naught and f dash of x naught and x naught where in this case is x naught is equal to 0. In this case x naught is equal to 0. Therefore, but here in this x, x minus x naught, x naught is not 0, but here it is x naught is equal to a. That clearly shows series is near the neighborhood of the origin is Maclaurin's, series is away from the uh, origin that is called Taylor series. But Maclaurin series is the derived part of uh, Taylor's series. So, these things will go for uh, so many applications of problems in engineering uh, with respect to the various uh, disciplines of engineering. Now, I shall take one or two examples on uh, 
McLaren series that means problems I will take the first one because you need to write what is exponential series because in programming languages uh, in C programming also you will be using the first uh, 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 topic of the syllabus in for first year BE you need to write algorithms for exponential series, algorithms for algorithm for sine series, algorithm for cos series. They are all contributed from this McLaren series. So, that series equation you have to uh, understand and then uh, that will be taken up for uh, the uh, uh, algorithm uh, formation, then how those algorithms will explain each calculation uh, either in the form of derivative or without derivative or higher order derivatives. Okay. One is exponential series, second one is sin x, third one is uh, cos x, next is uh, log x, then log of 1 plus x, right? Then uh, this is uh, log of 1 plus sin x, then log of 1 plus cos x. Uh, they are all uh, can be explained either using McLaren series or by using Taylor series. Okay. So, let me start with uh, the first example that is first case let y is equal to e to the power x by McLaren series. Okay. What we need in the McLaren series x naught is equal to 0 that means all the derivatives you have to calculate and at each derivative x naught you have to put it as 0 then. I would like to stop up to this point and uh, I shall continue the solutions and in the next discussion I will take up all the expansions using Taylor's and McLaren series. Now, we can go through these uh, uh, equations, standard equations of Taylor's and McLaren's. Thank you.